Dr. Robert DeYoung, a very prominent physician in Michigan, uh, is presenting at the AFRM Orlando his findings on Lyme disease. Lyme's disease is hugely unreported in the United States. According to the Centers for Disease Control, by perhaps a factor of 10. Lyme's disease is a terrible disease because it is chronic. It is hard to treat. Antibiotics are often not effective. Lyme's disease can last a lifetime and cause a lifetime of misery and suffering for people and they don't even know that they have it. That's the tragedy of Lyme disease. Now, why in anti-aging are we concerned about things like Lyme's disease? Well, anti-aging medicine is more than just lotions and potions and looking good, but anti-aging medicine is about the quality of life as well as the quantity of life. And chronic infectious disease really affect both of those in a very not so nice way. So we have to pay attention to Lyme's disease. We have to pay attention to uh, chronic disease because chronic infectious diseases are no laughing matter and they're really part and parcel of any anti-aging medicine program. Certainly the very early detection and the aggressive treatment of these diseases. And so we're very happy to have Dr. Robert Young from Michigan present his findings on new advances in detection and treatment of Lyme's disease. Lyme disease is caused by the bacterium Borrelli burgdorferi. It's transmitted by ticks. Some people say it's transmitted by other forms. Typical symptoms include a fever, headache, fatigue, and there's a characteristic skin rash, erythema migraines. If left untreated, and that's the point of this talk, it can cause joint problems, heart problems, and neurological problems. This is critical when dealing with Lyme disease. If you suspect you have Lyme, it is crucial that you get a reliable test as soon as possible, and of course, a treatment immediately, because the longer the germ grows in your body and damages your cells, and releases toxins, the harder it is to make a person better. Some people say, how long does it take me to get better from Lyme disease? I got bit by a tick five years ago. I was never treated. Well, we say it takes three months for every one year since you've been bit. People with a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease can have Lyme disease. I have this lady who was at two neurologists in Grand Rapids, went to Mayo Clinic, told she had Parkinson's disease. Her IgenX testing was positive. We did a combination of things. We did the phospholipid exchange, the glutathione, we detoxified to repair her cell membranes. We gave her supplements, and when I give people supplements, every six weeks I change them based on their biomeridian testing, whether it's you use kinesiology or uh, different uh, biomeridian machines. We use the Ondamed machine that Jim was talking about to put energy into the body. Uh, if you want to consider it jump-starting their cells, I call it balancing their energy because life is a balance of energy. Uh, some people have too much and you have to lower it, so jump-starting is not a good term. But anyway, after uh, three months, this lady's Parkinson's syndrome was gone. She wasn't depressed. She didn't have ART akinesia, uh, rigidity, or tremor. And I was just, she felt wonderful, and she had been to all these other doctors. Multiple sclerosis, uh, hardly a week goes by with somebody with MS, doesn't come in. I've been diagnosed with MS. I'm disabled by the state of Michigan because I have MS. I just had a pharmacist come in. I have MS. Well, MS causes white matter changes in the brain, and it's indistinguishable. Lyme versus other MS. And spinal taps also show the bands, you have legal clonal glands. So you got spinal tap changes, you have MRI changes that look exactly the same. But once again, if you go through the program that I just talked about, these people are up and about, and their MS symptoms don't vanish, but slowly go away. Uh, chronic fatigue is very common. Um, rheumatoid arthritis. I have this uh, nurse with rheumatoid arthritis. She couldn't kneel down on the floor. She lives on a farm. She had trouble just doing anything in the house, any household chores. And by treating her when she tested positive for Lyme disease, for Lyme disease, with homeopathic remedies and um, some supplements and energy medicine, she can kneel on the floor, she can get up, she can move around. You could do cookbook medicine, which means 
you say, okay, everybody with Lyme disease take these antibiotics, these supplements, and detoxify this way. Or you can say, we're all unique individuals. We all have different toxins and different amounts of the same toxins. And we could figure out what program works best for you, but we'll use the cookbook as a guideline. And that's what I do, and I adjust the patients, and it saves a lot of phone calls. Because if you put everybody on the same amount of supplements, they have reactions. They detoxify too fast. Who knows? But uh, you don't get phone calls when you do it this way. It's hard to overstate the importance of avoiding disease, especially infectious disease, at all stages of life. Infectious disease robs us of our youth and robs us of our potential longevity. It's very important when you speak with your doctor to not just look at what's superficial or what's within as well. Anti-aging medicine is about the whole you. It's about not just your skin, not just your muscles, not just your sexual prowess. It's about your mental performance. It's about your cardiovascular system, your lungs. It's about your digestive system. It's about your immune system. It's about the whole of you. And that's what anti-aging physicians learn. And so if you want to learn more about this new specialty of medicine, a specialty of medicine that is looking to extend the quality and the quantity of your lifespan, then I urge you to go to www.worldhealth.net.